Okay, I just want to show you a little different angle of this long-running barrier. Uh, if you go back to that video on the trapping tips, it was filmed in this area. Check out the cut bank. And you can see the old song dog too. It's a nice pretty looking coyote. Uh, we're going to drive up on top right up there and we'll take a closer look. This kid no longer has a fear of coyotes. If he ever did, I guess. It's up there, coyote. That's a nice little coyote. It's like a two-year-old, maybe. Good catch. So there's our T-bone. There's that fight circle. Look right there. There's the other fight circle. So the last video I showed, we caught one right over there. And... Uh, I just moved this 15 feet. You watch me set this trap, actually. So uh, we've got a snare right down a little further in this trail. We're going to go check it out. Pull this one out here. Good. Okay, take a look at this guy. Could we back out of the shadow just for the sun, just for a sec? That's coyote scat. This guy's awful sick. He's a three-legged coyote, so he's had a rough life. But you don't have to worry no more. This is the first one of the year that we've had that's got real bad like this. I haven't seen, never seen one like this. So we've, we've trapped all the family coyotes out of in here and now we're down to just uh, scragglers passing through. Well, 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 Boone. Look what we have here. Get back. Get back, he'll eat you alive, buddy. Nice. Got another coyote in the fence snare. We're out here in the, uh, the, uh, I'm glad you can see the, okay, well, we've got another coyote in the fence snare. We're down here, kind of close to my place. It's at the end of the day. We caught those other couple this morning, this afternoon. So, uh, this one, I've been waiting for a little while to catch this one. I've had my eye on this one for at least a couple months now. Kind of a uh, very unique one for me. This is uh, coyote number 100 for the season. So we're pretty much done. We've, we're pulling our traps out this week, and uh, it's kind of nice to see another coyote get into the triple digits. So I'm going to get him clubbed on the head and... Uh, taken care of. Well, we're down here in the river. It's 
setting up some beaver traps. I actually taught it. And we're coming down the river and we haven't quite pulled our coyote sets up on the land yet. Check out what Jack found. Take us a second to hike up there. You can check this one from the road right on the other side of the fence. The ranger. It looks like he's dead. He ain't dead, but he's belly caught. Uh, guys, this was one of the very first snares I set in November. I come pretty close to my house, so I, I come. I check this one year all season long, and first first set I set, or not first set, but first day I set out here in November, and it's been nothing until today. So we're gonna get him dispatched, a little pup coyote. Real orange and ugly, so we'll put him out of his misery. We're going to leave him here and then come back by on the road with the ranger here in just a second, so. Uh, now that's a pretty coyote. Look how light he is. We got this one put down. Bonked in the head. Uh, nice pretty little coyote. Right on the edge of the long running barrier. You can see Jackson his t-shirt. We just had a huge warm snap. It's no fun. Hotter than heck out here. Mid 60s. We're done. We're, oh, we're pulling this trap up. So uh, <laughs> I've never seen this. Oh, here we go. He's shaking. Kind of death quivers there. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna go oh, pull him up and we'll just a young two-year-old coyote. Real pretty though, not from around here. The rest of these in here all season have been dark, dark, dark red. German shepherd color almost. We'll pull it up and move on. We just drove up the trap line a little bit further. We had this guy. This is the uh, one, two, three from right here when it's 20 feet. Uh, this is our trail crossing. We're going to pull this trap. We're not going to reset it. This was an absolute blind trail set. No lure, no nothing. So, he's playing dead. Let's take, take a peek at him. What is he doing? He's acting, having a dang seizure? What is he doing? What is he doing? Now, we didn't, haven't even touched him. He's having a seizure or something. Oh, he's probably like, don't hold me! Look at this! I've never seen anything like this. We haven't even touched him or shot him or nothing. Oh, probably. What the heck is going on? So the trap was set right here off of this. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's set right up here. This was their trail. They're going back and forth right here. Ducking under that fence. This was all weeded in really big. I don't know what he's doing. He ain't dead. I think he's just having a seizure. Honestly. Yeah, we caught one there the other day, bud. Uh, this is the second second one in this trail set. The trap goes... Is it? Will you reset it, buddy? This was where the trap is. Right there is the bed. Able to block him in pretty good with the for, with the uh, rock. But this is a super steep hill. Uh, you can see Jack. We got a snare right there. He's resetting. Uh, they don't run up there. They run right here on the bottom. And then we've caught probably half a dozen right down there, too. So we're going to get him taken care of. Still decent enough fur. So I've got a bobcat caught here right in front of the camera. And I'm wondering who can spot it because it is hiding pretty good. Dad's with me today. We've been out checking empty traps all day. I'll walk up here and see when he moves. Tell me when you can see him. And I'm shining the camera right on him, so. Oh, 
There we go. That is a little tiny guy. This is smaller than that kitten I released recently, but they are feisty. These little kittens, this is the third kitten in recent time that I will release, and he is feisty. <laughs> so, guess what we're going to do with this one? We're going to release him. This was a, uh, we caught a coyote in this, uh, not last check, but the check before. And now we got this little guy. So I'm going to set the camera up. We'll get a stick and gloves. And we could almost take this one home and tame it, probably. <laughs> He's tiny. <laughs> okay, I'm going to set this up. Here, smile for my camera. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no. Hey, how bad's his foot, Dad? Is it really bad? No. Okay. No. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna just fine. Okay. Well, I don't want to turn one loose. You, the last one I I released was a piece of, or was not a piece of cake. I was three miles from any tree or stick. What are you gonna do, huh? You're okay. I'll get you out of there. Quit. Quit. Now this, I can get the trap pretty easy, you want me but... To hold the steak? Yeah, you want to come, come around the other side and... I'm going to hold one on its face so he doesn't... Maybe... Oh, you got him. Oh, you got him good. Yep. Easy. Easy. Can you reach me? Huh? I think he can reach me with that. I think, oh, I think he can too, there, Jeremy. I know he can. That other. We clear out over the trap. Here, I'll make it a little harder for him. Well, quit. We're gonna turn you loose. You ready? Yep. Now you go on the other way. That last one kind of tried to get me. No, and that foot doesn't look real great. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It looks a lot Oops. better. Oops. Oops. Hey. <laughs> well, we can give him some space. <laughs> well, good morning. We're out. I'm out here by myself, uh, kind of ending the season how we started it. Just uh, by myself. I'm enjoying it today. Uh, pulling, starting to pull all the trap line out. I, I probably won't get it all done today, but uh, so this neck of this setup here, uh, I, I caught a goose in this. I had some coyote activity around it this this uh, the earlier this year, uh, probably two months ago to be honest. And I set it, caught a goose in here, and, and the coyotes came in and just destroyed it before I could ever get here, and so. I had, you can kind of see it up there, I kind of had this, uh, this uh, bunch of feathers. Well, they wouldn't come back into those feathers. These coyotes are a little bit wily, and so they would not come anywhere near that. In the snow, in the mud, I had no tracks near it. So I set this snare here, and I've had a heck of a time. I have not had any activity. But this is another, you can look around this coyote, there's no brush big enough to tie off to. Uh, this is another one of those rebar stakes with the, with the support wire. And man, it has done the trick. Got a pretty, pretty coyote here. Uh, looks like about a two year old or, or so. It's not, yeah, he might be bigger than that. Uh, good looking coyote, looks like a good sized male to me. Uh, not, not overly huge for up here, but Maybe 26, 26 pounds or something. 
anyways i'm gonna get him bonked and i'm pulling i'm actually leaving all my support stakes in here and i was just pulling up to this one thinking nah, i don't know if i want to leave this one in for next year i mean obviously i pulled my snare and take it home with me but i'll leave all my stakes support wires in and i thought nah, i don't know if i'm gonna take it or not or what it well looks like i'm gonna probably take it so <laughs> he tore enough stuff up in here and okay i'll get him taken care of might have a blink or two so let's get in here and take a look at him first off let's look at this support system so see how hard he's pulling on that see how well it held up here hey look at that it's still there look at this so you can see two feet of that deal he loosened it up i just pulled it right out no big deal but uh he, he there's no way he's getting it out he's pulling away from it i've got about 10 feet of cable here he's going away from it and uh he can't ever pull it out so good deal good looking coyote let's take a look at it pretty little coyote nice light colored some of the genetics up here they get they get this yellow in them and i i actually like it uh make them really pretty let's see look what we got little male he's still looking good his fur still really nice uh good deal definitely a two-year-old uh well he's actually two two years and one month and three days if you, if you really need to know the honest truth so Okay, we're going to keep pulling them out. Well, I've trapped for years and years, guys, and I've never caught one of these. Uh, not in a snare or especially not in a trap. So, uh, this is going to get interesting. I'm going to set you down. Look like she's in the front foot. Her foot still is not damaged that bad. Either way, I'm going to turn her loose. I'll set you down and, and let you see it. Okay, mama goat. No kicking. No kicking. No kicking. No kicking. Easy. Easy. Easy there. guys here she goes she's backing it she's getting limp for a little bit I guess it's a little bit of catch and release <laughs> 